I am Neelakanta Bhanu Prakash and I am the fastest human calculator in the world. What that means is that I am quicker than anyone else out there in doing calculations at paces which have never been imagined before. I am from Hyderabad. I have been born and brought up entirely here. And uh, I've done my uh, schooling from Bharti Vidya Bhavans and later went on to do my 11th and 12th from Chukaramaya Institute and later joined St. Stephen's College, New Delhi. So in my journey, I would say it's of um, a variety of understandings, a lot of different ideologies coming together from various aspects. It's been a learning experience and I would say that math as a field is usually the not very interesting subject oriented one but I have changed how it looks for me and that is how I've driven my passion entirely about. I was a regular school going kid. I was six, I was five when I was in my school and I was doing math at the same level as everyone else was doing. I was nothing really special. I was a regular school going kid who was enthusiastic in doing what he actually wanted to do. And uh, one thing which I would give to myself is that I was always explorative and I always identified patterns when there was a need be. So um, my mother tells me that sometimes when I was a kid, there used to be these Lego blocks and I used to arrange them in different sets of sizes. I'm talking about me when I'm two and a half and three years old. Arranging rings and arranging different set of patterns as a kid was something which was very intuitional to me. But again, that was not a very big leap ahead. Soon, when I was six, I was um, going to school and this one day which changed my life completely is the August 19th, 2005. The August 19th, 2005 was on the day which was celebrated as a Hindu festival which is Raksha Bandhan. On this day, I um, happened to meet with an accident and this accident changed my life entirely. Unintuitionally as it may sound, it changed my life for the good. I met with a head injury, I was bedridden for an year to come and a regular second class student had nothing else to do, had nowhere else to go, was restricted to a bed and was there all along. So all of you might think that this is the one year probably where things went wrong, accident happened and you might actually be feeling worse off. But I would say this was the most learning phase I've ever had. Because in this time was the time when I actually started exploring patterns and exploring my true passion, which is about being quick. When I say being quick, I'm thinking about thinking quicker than anyone else and calculating at the speeds which were unimaginable. Then it was not this complicated. It was just about doing a few puzzles here, puzzles there and being quick at them. So my mother encouraged me, my father, my mother together encouraged me in taking these up because I was bedridden. I really couldn't go around. So I was given books, puzzles and things to solve. And I did them meticulously and passionately because that's the one thing which I was good at. I was good enough to think. Later on, I went on to uh, join a school, school nearer to my house. And um, that's when I realized that the passion towards patterns and pat the passion towards calculations was ju just not there, not minimal. It was something which was more than what I always asked for. I felt that there was a calling which I had to an answer. And my parents you really, really helped me to focus my energies there. Two years down the line, in the year, three years down the line actually, in the year 2009, I happened to win the regional speed arithmetic championship. Got the second place, of course. But that was the first big victory. That was the first big victory where a nine-year-old kid and went and won the state level arithmetic championship. What happens in an arithmetic championship is that you're given a set of questions to solve and a certain time and you have to solve more than anyone else in an accurate way. From then, the next four years was entirely about competitions, was entirely about going to places and being in a place where you go out and test your metal with the people around. 2010, I was the regional second place again. 2011 was the first big breakthrough. I was in eighth class in Bharati Vidya Bhavan's public school, going to school, coming back and practicing all day, all night for this competition which was happening in Bangalore. 
2011, I happened to win the National Speed Arithmetic Championship in the highest category. 2011 was that, the first big victory, you won the Nationals. 2012, I won the Nationals again in Pune, becoming the National Speed Arithmetic Champion yet again, with the highest score which was ever hit by an Indian before. This automatically made me qualify for the 2013 International Speed Arithmetic Championship which was happening in Singapore. In Singapore, people from 23 different countries were coming, 400 kids and I had to go compete with them. I thought, okay, let's give it a try, probably we'll learn from it later on. This was also the time when I was in my 10th grade and I was giving my uh, CBSE board exams. So, you know, you know the, how the uh, stakes were because there was exams, there was this, everyone was preparing for their entrance exams later on. So I was like, okay, all right, let me give this all an entire try because this, was, this, the, this competition coincided with the first term examinations right after them. So I gave all my effort in there. I went to Singapore, I performed whatever I did. And guess what? I actually became the International Speed Arithmetic Championship in the first go. For a 13, 14 year old kid, 13 year old kid, winning such a laurel was a great thing, yes. But it was also a bit tricky because what else do we do after this? International Speed Arithmetic Champion is the biggest you can get in this. What do you do after that? There is no competition bigger than this. That's what I thought then. I came back, I was in a regular, I, I was in a school, um, I, I, I finished my school exams, I came back, I attended a wedding <clears throat> where one of my uncles said, Bhanu, why do you not look at um, world records? I know that you're quicker, but there is Shakuntala Devi, there are people like that. So have you ever tried looking into that? That's when I thought, okay, wow, this is something which I can explore. I come back home, I shoot a mail to Limka Book of Records saying that, all right, these are the seven records which I want to break. And um, two months down the line, I actually hold seven Limka Book of Records in being the fastest human calculator around. Seven Limka records was good. Years after that, the next year I broke 21 more records and the next year I broke 22 more records. Currently, I have 50 records in the Limka book. Apart from that, I own four world records which are about breaking the speeds of uh, world records which were once held by great laurels like Shakuntala Devi, Scott Flansburg and a lot of other popular people around. So. In the year uh, 2014, when I was in my 11th grade, I got selected by the German government-oriented organization called the Mental Calculation World Cup to take part in the Mental Calculation World Cup. Just like how football, cricket and every other sport out there has a World Cup, right? Mental Calculation as a sport also had a World Cup. So little did I know that there is such a thing existed, but I got invited to this where 40 fastest human calculators from all over the world invited me to come and talk. So come and, come and, come and uh, compete. So I went there, um, I was the, one of the youngest participants out there, everyone was old. The average age of the entire competition was 35. The eldest was around 76, the professors and everyone else, such a, such a celebration. And I finished with a really, really, really nice uh, rank, which is around fourth in the versatile category. So the learning until now has been about Bhanu being someone who has been breaking world records, right? So in the year 2014 and 2015, that's when I realized that the skill which I possess is something which I would want to teach the world about. It's okay. It's okay that I've calculated quicker than anyone else, but I wanted to showcase the world that human brain is capable of doing things which you were never imagining before. In 2015, I broke a world record called the fastest human calculator record, which is about racing against the speed of a calculator. What I had to do there is to take a random two digit number, say 38 or 42, and add the same number to itself and go as quickly as I can. Just for the audience's point of view, it sounded something like 38 ones are 38, 38 twos are 76. So 38, 76, 114, 152, 192, 228, 266, 304, 342, 380, 418, 456, 494, 532, 570, 608, 646, 684, 722, 760. I mean, this is a bit of it. I'll be showing a lot more in the uh, towards the end of the video, but yeah. So this is this is about what the uh, world record was. And here in this competition, I had to race against a couple of people who were actually doing this on a calculator. I had to race past them and this is what I did. In 15 seconds, I've 
added the same number to itself 42 times which broke something called the mental speed barrier and me get the record so i thought this conveys a lot of things right one the human brain is capable of doing things which we call ourselves impossible talk about math talk about anything else we are capable of doing things which are more than just this i wanted to drive this point and that's when i entered public speaking in the year 2015 i started off by speaking in a couple of business conclaves and later on went to talk at a lot of schools uh today 2019 I had an organization called Exploring Infinities where we have done workshops across 5 countries and have impacted more than 70 schools in terms of teaching and showcasing the impossible teaching them that the impossible is possible by rolling out courseware around uh, being quicker than a calculator how to turn on the computer in you how to parallel think how to do a lot of other things which I'm talking about how to manage your emotions in a much better way how to be thick quick thinkers how can this solve um the problems of examinations and practice sessions so this was a long stretch right so from being someone who's an achiever to being an educator was a different phase altogether exploring infinities even right now as we speak is rolling out a project called arithmetic literacy in 60 plus government schools all over hyderabad we have trainers who have who have come across from a lot of different backgrounds and are working on com- one common good which is about teaching the world how to do math in a better and a much more fun way as we know 3 out of every 4 people are phobic towards math 3 out of every 4 people who is watching this video right now would say i oh, know math is hard we want to change that i want to change that and that's when my journey began in being an educator i've given 4 tedx talks i've given more than 70 keynote speeches and have mentored a lot of people in making them discover what they truly mean NMMS is an examination for 8th grade uh, state level students state government schools for getting scholarships for the next 5 years of their life and the major ingredient of this examination is mathematics and we have been training people vigorously to scale and go ahead of this examination and do a lot of other things math is fun arithmetic is the key to understanding what you exactly think like what you exactly are made up of and when i'm talking about arithmetic i'm not talking about you doing complex calculations but i'm talking about you doing calculations right in your head which can change the way in which you look at the world what you might think is bhanu prakash right here is not the kind of person who was someone like you he someone who is passionately into math and definitely not someone whom you would want to relate with but i would definitely say that i am as normal as everyone else out there and i for myself have a lot of other passions and things which are going on i am currently pursuing mathematics at st stephen's college i also had a chain of ice cream stores called mr ice cream or frozen kingdom and in fact uh, there was a point of time where i was working on a couple of tech startups and i travel all over the world and talking about what i do and i do a lot of other things so being able to strike the right uh thing between understanding and fun in mathematics is something which we are driving you can connect with me or the organization exploring infinities to learn more and be someone who can um, find their inner self in a much more uh, rigorous scientific and a mathematical sort of way so i am not calling out to the people who are good out there in math i am talking about people who can benefit from such a thing and people who are scared people who think that they are not good and people who think that they can do more these are the sort of people whom i am willing to connect against i am 19 i am have not mentioned this until now i am 19 i am 19 which is possibly the audience age out there i am talking to you as someone who's a friend and someone whom you can relate to i am bhanu prakash i am neelakanta bhanu prakash janlagadda and i am the fastest human calculator in the world